Hey, my name is Beach, and I live in the largest high altitude valley in the world. San Luis Valley is full of cool little towns, all sorts of beautiful natural landmarks, and really interesting wildlife. There's a lot of history here, too. This place has been hunted by Native Americans, conquered by Spaniards, settled by white men, subdivided by the government, and there are all sorts of very interesting people who call this place home. But really, in my opinion, I think there are three types of people who live in the San Luis Valley. First, you have the ones who just plain hate it, trying their entire life to just get out of here. Then you have the ones who really love it here, feel a sense of community, um, you know, even if they leave, they're always going to call this place home. Then you have the people who are kind of stuck in between, change their mind a lot. They're the debaters. When they're here, all they can talk about is how terrible the valley is, how boring it is, there's nothing to do. When they leave, all they talk about is how beautiful this place is and how they can't wait to come back. Nobody just lives in the valley because it's just okay or because they have some amazing job that pays so well, all sorts of opportunities. They either love it or they hate it, really. They love it for all the beautiful wildlife and things to see, but they hate the tourism, people passing through all the time. Or they can't stand the terrible winds that we get in the spring, but the beautiful summer makes up for it. So really, we've got the lovers, the haters, and the debaters. Me, myself, I've always been a debater. Sometimes I really love it here, sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I want to stay and call this my home, sometimes I want to leave. It's really hard to make up my mind, but right now, because of my boss, I'm kind of hating it. can't stand it anymore. I'm so sick of working here with no appreciation, no opportunities to grow. Sometimes I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels. Yeah, I feel that way sometimes. But it's not like you're trapped here. There's plenty of opportunities out there in different places for you. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just frustrating, you know? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what was up with that guy this morning? Oh, I don't, time, even, but... I don't even know. I don't even know. We thought that maybe we did something. Oh, man. What does he want? I don't know, but I'm ready to get out of here. Morgan, oh, I couldn't hold it anymore. That pisses the bridge. I gotta go all the way back to the campus. I'll help you mop or something. Um, well, we're pretty much done, so just uh, hurry. Cool, cool. Hey, Beast. Hey, Bobby. Hey. You know you have one of those things? Yeah, just got it. Do you know you get on the internet with these? I've already downloaded like 20 games. It's awesome. Anyway, I got a. Uh, Study for a history project that's due tonight in the San Luis Valley. Ridiculous. I need a new agent and better fights. 
You tell Marcus, I don't care what it pays, I'm not fighting no Civil War veterans. Who are, Who are you? you? What? You don't even know my name? I'm Jack Dempsey. They call me Kid Blackie. What? Who? What? what? What's going on here? Something isn't right. Oh, I hope I'm drunk. Who are you? I'm just a guy. Hello, is this the train to Washington? What? what? You guys, you guys, you guys, something just happened. All right, so I was in, I was in the bathroom and I had my phone and then I zipped up my calamari roll and it hurt really bad and I dropped it in the toilet, I, my, my phone. And then, I, I don't know, I think I'm hallucinating from the pain or I'm having an acid flashback or something, but three people I was just reading about for my project just walked out of the mirror. Go, go, go. Calm down. Chill out for a second. Sit down, maybe. Uh, you know, ride the wave. Dude, I don't know what's going on, but I hear noise coming from the bathroom. We need to go check it out. We have to get them back. It's the only way. I have to recreate the situation somehow and get them back. Wait, hold on a second. You you expect me to believe this crap? Yeah, and as you say, we're in the year 2012. Where's the proof? Ooh. I must have died in lots of white man hell. This dead man shall torment me forever. Chabeta. Yeah, and I don't plan to be anytime soon. So, how about if we just get back to reason and try to solve this thing? Your words are poison! Hey, hey, ho, hey, stop, hold on, simmer down, simmer you down, young lady, simmer down. Okay, I need some time to think. If, if I can recreate the situation, maybe I could send you all back through like a, like a portal. Mm -hmm. Well, the door opens one way and it might open the other. Okay. But what are we going to do with these two? They obviously can't be together. Maybe we could each take one. The boxer can come with me. A uh, crazy horse over there can go with you, Morgan. And the Yankee can go with both of you. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. i, I got to do a lot of running around town and make sure they all get to their own timeline safely. And you safely. got us into this mess, both of So you're taking the guy with the sword. Hey, don't worry about it, son. I can take care of myself. I think you're all crazy. This is my room. It's not much, but it's home for now. Oh, don't worry. I've, I've stayed in worse. So, uh, this really is year 2012, huh? I'm afraid so. But hey, look. 
people still fight each other. I mean, ultimate fighting champion. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. So. Yes. Are you really Jack Dempsey, the Manassa Mauler? Mauler? Nobody ever calls me Mauler. I really am Jack Dempsey, though. I've just been traveling around boxing in the saloons of mining towns. People are starting to call me Kid Blackie. It's got a ring to it. Listen, Kid Blackie, isn't it great? Greater than the Manassa Mauler. I told you nobody calls me Mauler. Hmm, you must not be famous yet, then. What? Nobody even knows about me outside of Colorado and Utah. They will, they will, if you really are. The Jack Dempsey. What are you talking about, lady? Never mind, I'd only spoil it. So, how did you get here? Ah, oh, well, well, I was on my way out into the ring, and uh, we, we were waiting at the door. And when they called my name, I stepped through the doorway, and there was that guy pointing his sword at me. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's like I walked into a different room, you know? Hmm. Well, I'm sure both of you will figure it out. You know, he looks really clumsy sometimes. He's actually the smartest guy I know. If not, there's always the UFC. But you're not dead, and you're not in hell. You're still alive. It's just been many, many years. This is the same land that you were on. It's just been many generations after you. All right, uh, well, you can sleep over here. Where, where, where's that? Right here. You live here? Yeah. Uh, don't tell anyone, though, okay? Uh, okay. Whatever you say, hard. So, I'll set you up in here, and then I gotta go find a smartphone from somebody. Somewhere. Smartphone. Isn't that that contraption you kidnapped us with? Okay, first of all, I didn't kidnap you. Lots of people have those things. It was just an accident. They're, they're used for talking to people, taking pictures, getting on the internet. Internet. Well, I gather from what you said, that's something to get on. Is it like a horse? No, no, no. It's, it's more like a, like a library of all the information in the world. It's accessible to anybody that has a, one of those contraptions, like they brought you here. Uh, like this one's one as well. Computer. Have a seat. Well, you click right there, that's Google. Matthew. Yeah, with this is a mouse, so there's a button there. And see where I move the mouse is where that goes. And then you hit enter. Oh, okay. Go to images right here. Images. Okay. Go there. Oh my goodness. Might even be a picture of you in there. There you go. So you type anything in there. Enter. Type. 
Yeah, you, you, you push on these buttons, see we got the... Oh, well, there's the alphabet. Yeah, it's all out of order, but... Oh, well. I don't, I don't know if I push that in between words, okay? This is space bar. Make a mistake. Make space. Okay, I think I can do this. All right. Let's get down. Uh, you sure you're all right here? Uh-huh. Um, I'll be just fine. And there's some ice cream in the freezer. Uh, go easy on it. Over there. Um, she's calmed down. I think she understands what's going on, but I don't even understand, so. Yeah, right? This guy makes it big and he doesn't even know it yet. He's like a hero of the valley, you know? And he still thinks he has to prove it. Well, maybe he hasn't made it big in his world yet. And I don't think you should be talking about those kinds of things with him, you know? Yeah, I know. It's just so exciting, you know? I mean, he really did it. He found his thing and he went with it. Heavyweight champion of the world in my apartment. And afterwards, he became a successful restaurant owner in New York. And he grew up in Manassas. That's like just down the street from here. You know, he really gives me hope. Makes me feel like I could do something great. Anything you do will be great, Beige. We just need to focus on getting these guys back so they can be great. Okay? Yeah, I know. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. You never answered me about my people. Is this really the land of my great-grandchildren? What happened to my people? Your people are still alive. But the white men have changed the world in many ways. Most all of your lands are gone, except for one little bit. That's far, far away. It's a hard life, but your children's children still live. I'm sorry I don't have anything better to say to you. It's seen as a great shame on our history. And very few look back at what happened in good light. It's a sadness that we fell forever. Who were you when you came to be in this time? I was trying to get on a train to Washington, D.C. I was on my way to negotiate with the chief of the white men. On my journey, I was nearly killed by a mob of white men. They were angry because not long ago, a band of youths killed a group of white men. Among them was a man named Nathan Lincoln. I had nothing to do with the attack, but the white men, they blame all of the youths. I had just escaped death, or so I thought, until I walked onto the train. When I walked onto the train, I came to be here, and I realized that I was dead after all. Oh, you look alive to me. Uh, here's the deal. I, I'll, I'll buy you a new one as soon as I can. I just, I need to drop your iPhone into the toilet so I can get Jack Dempsey, Kit Carson, and the Queen of the Utes back to the past before they kill each other. Hey. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you 
see I dropped my phone into the toilet. No, it's not likely that I'll do it again. No, I'm not kidding, man. Hey! Hello? So yeah, I, I dropped my phone in the toilet, but I need a new one so I can study history tonight. Crazy, huh? Hey, partner, can we get him a beer? Sure. Here you go. Thank you, Ada. You're welcome. What am I gonna do? What's up, man? Hard times? You could say that. You could say that. Ah, shit, man. Don't sweat it. That's just... Life's got a way of fucking with you, you know? Please come back around. Please come back around. <laughs> Shit. It's my ex. You know she fucking lacerated my penis once? Fucking crazy. I ain't answering this shit. I'm going to the bathroom. Watch this for me. Sure thing, man. There he is, what I'm saying! Sounds hopeful. It says something about recent years and some words I don't understand. But we have many types of aneurysms. Treatments have been developed. Mm -hmm. I'm go back. That post surgeon has never heard about this stuff. I got to look into this a lot more. You know it. Hey, I gotta be ready if I'm gonna fight some punks from the future. <laughs> All right. Hey, I wanna show you something. Yeah, what you got? Oh, come on, seriously. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here. Let's see, 1921. Manasseh Mahler, Jack Dempsey, world heavyweight champion? Are you serious? Since 1919 wins the match in round four. Unbelievable. Man, it's nice to know all my hard work pays off in the end. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, you know, a champion is someone who gets up when he can't. <laughs> I don't know too much of family history. I don't keep in touch with my mother and father. Quite like I want to do. There's some family history. I'd rather not go looking through. Family history. It will repeat. Look through your history. You'll show to me someone walking Much the same pathway as you It's just family history And like it or not, you're passing through Yeah! 
got something to do with the uh, Civil War reenactment class up at the college? Ah, uh, they just uh, relive the war. It's a good time for some folks. Well, those of us who were there don't particularly want to relive it. You are? You missed it, kid. Where were you? Oh, I'm sorry, pard. I'm not going back. What? But you gotta understand, one of the things I learned that was in 1868, I died of something called an aneurysm. What about it? Well, you gotta realize that that year, for me, is this year. Which means I'm gonna die soon. And I'm not particularly hankering to do that. I also learned that in this time, you people have learned how to treat aneurysm, so I could possibly live a few more years. And something else I learned is up here at the college, they need somebody to teach something they're calling Civil War reenactment. And hey, I already got the uniform. Well, what about the space-time continuum? Yep, there are lots of different kinds of people who live in the valley. The lovers, hey, the haters, hey, hey, the, hey, the, hey, the, hey, the, 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 the,
What? It's my phone, man. It's my phone. It's in the toilet. It's in the toilet. What's it doing in the toilet? I had to pee on it. Bags are packed for Sunday, the and debaters. that's all. And then, all I own. There's some people that just keep all on I own. But remember, there's no not place all those like who home till you leave. Peace. Hallelujah, my darling, don't wait up for me. Summer is long gone, dead and gone, dead and gone. The ground beneath the flower is bone dry, dry as a bone, dry as a bone. Well, I rarely remember my dreams. Hallelujah, my darling, don't wait up for me. What about it? <laughs> oh, I hope I'm drunk. <laughs> okay. Now the heaven train is blowing, hear it call. Won't be long. Please, oh, please be long. bar patron number three. I want to get inside the skin. Oh. I'll soon be lifted, I'll be gone. Dead and gone. Dead and gone. Fire, I will die gradually. Hallelujah, my darling, don't wait up for me. Like a fire, I will die gradually. Hallelujah, my darling, don't wait up for me.